Sudanese protesters have taken to the streets of Omdurman city to demonstrate against an apparent military coup. Tens of thousands of protesters took to the streets of Sudan's capital Khartoum on Monday after soldiers arrested most of the members of Sudan's cabinet and detained the prime minister in an apparent military coup. Injuries and gunfire have been reported. Footage from local broadcasters shows protesters carrying the national flag near the military headquarters with plumes of black smoke and fire. Sudan. Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, a general who headed the Sovereign Council, a power-sharing ruling body, announced a state of emergency across the country and dissolved the council and the transitional government. Prime Minister Abdallah Hamdok was detained and moved to an undisclosed location after refusing to issue a statement in support of the coup, according to the Information Ministry, which was still apparently under the control of Hamdok supporters. Uh, the ministry called for resistance against the coup, and civilians like this man, who did not provide his name, followed suit. <laughs> An urgent call to all Sudanese civilians who want to protect their revolution. What the military is doing is a betrayal to all civilians on all fronts. It is the duty of all civilians to move and to block all the roads outside to prevent any military force to move. Right now, all of us must unite to show the truth. It's to be or not to be, and we will. <laughs> Sudan has been on edge since a failed coup plot just last month. Military and civilian groups have been sharing power following the toppling of the long-serving leader Omar al-Bashir two years ago. The military was meant to pass leadership of the Joint Sovereign Council to a civilian figure in the coming months. But transitional authorities had struggled to move forward on several issues, including whether to hand over Bashir to the International Criminal Court, where he is wanted on war crimes. And I'm now being joined by an international affairs expert, Mr. Paul Ejimeo, who is going to be speaking with us tonight on the coup in Sudan. Mr. Paul, are you there with me? Yes, I am. Thank you for having me. It's another military coup in Africa. Where exactly what is going on in Africa, especially with African leaders? Where are we getting it all wrong? Well, it's an unfortunate development that at the time when they were, Africa was supposed to be consolidating on democracy or democratic system of government. You find regression. And then the military coming back uh, to power. You mentioned it, uh, Sudan. There was an attempt a month ago, and now this one, uh, Guinea, uh, Mali. Um, you know, uh, it, it's um, then uh, Niger. There was an attempt, and even in Chad, Chad um, is, uh, is, uh, is a coup. If you, if you ask me, because um, a leader was killed, and then the song, the military person succeeded him. So I think. The um, uh, democracy is not the issue. I think it's the operators. The politicians in Africa are the ones that are getting it wrong. Uh, because of their greed, because of their um, uh, failure to adhere to the principle of democracy. And then, um, you know, that has brought um, a lot of um, crisis. They do not respect the constitution. Some want to think up with it to, to hold on to power like you have in uh, Guinea and then um, uh, in Cote d'Ivoire. So uh, those, those are the, 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 the uh, rough edges that um, uh, create uh, the problem that Africa is now facing. And then if you, I know we'll get, get back to what actually is happening in, uh, in Sudan itself. In some quarters, many would say when you talk about the tra transitional government, like uh, what has happened now in Sudan where the military has taken over, there are always fears that um, civil rule could be, it could take another long time for civil rule to, to return. How long do you think transitional, uh, the transi transitional government proposed by the military in Sudan is going to take? That is a danger that you never allow it to happen because when it does happen, when the military takes over, it's like um, a bull in the China shop. 
uh, you now begin to manage it to make sure that you don't destroy things in, in that shop. Um, that is the issue. So the, the civilians, the political class, must avoid. If you say you don't like coups, why are you also carrying out what you call political or constitutional coups? Because those are the things that create this type of problem. In the case of Sudan, we, there, there was um, uh, an El Bashir that has spent, spent more than 30 years there and committed them, um, is wanted for, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, crimes against humanity for the war in um, in, in the fall. And so on. So the UN wanted him at the court. He never really got there until the civilians got fed up. And then, you know, there was this march two years ago for over months before the military hijacked that and took over government. And now they've been there uh, promising that they will hand over. And this promise, what they do is that they, they, re, they really bring in, do a hybrid uh, kind of um, administration, bringing some civilians into, into an, a government of transition. But what transition are we talking about? So long as you do not address the institutional and elect constitutional problem that gave rise to that um, uh, push, to that coup, you are not likely going to have, if you now rush to go and hand over to another civilian, um, sooner than later, they will come back and take him out again. So this is the problem. And um, it behoves on the civilians, on the politicians, to do the right thing and not give the military the excuse. Okay, Mr. Power. Paul. Because when they take power, there is a problem. Mr. Paul, what do you think is the fate of other African leaders watching what's going on now, Mali, now Sudan? What do you think is the fate of other African leaders? Well, I, I, the thing is to, to say that um, um, if they, they say if you, if you are given a new seat, you have, you have to ask yourself what happened to the man who, or the woman who sat there before. There are lessons to be learned, and I think, but the problem is that politicians, they learn nothing and they forget nothing. And that is why they keep repeating the mistakes and then going back to, to square one. And um, um, only God knows. But it's very simple. You take power, play by the rules. Mm -hmm. They are not playing by the rules. Either the greed, corruption, nepotism, and then all kinds of um, anti-democratic uh, 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 activities. Thank Those you. are the things that uh, take them out of power. Thank and then they need to avoid that Thank if uh, Africa is to consolidate democracy. Thank you so much, Mr. Paul Ejime. There is an international affairs Annalise, thank you for joining us on New News Now tonight. Thank you for having me. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.